Okay, so what is waiting for us over here? A group of creepy dancing people talking about Blade. What is Blade? We will find out eventually. But not yet. No way. I managed to walk the short distance that you did. Luckily for us, I have pirates on my side, apparently. I didn't think pirates were really bound to any code of honor, but then again, what do I know? I don't watch pirate movies or anything, so... Anyway, instead of being helpful, Johnny does not join the fight. He just kind of stands there while I have to fight this abomination. And apparently the background has changed to some crumbling canyon place in the sunset. I don't know. Just go with it. This is kind of an annoying boss fight, too, if you're not really prepared for it. There's not too much of a gimmick, although there is one gimmick, but yeah, this guy just kind of has a lot of strong attacks, so... Oh god, and he has a ton of HP, too. Yeah, Water Blast being one of them. I don't like this move. Because... Oh my god, that did a lot more damage than I thought. Okay, time to test weaknesses. Is he weak to fire? Probably not, because he's made of metal, but this could follow Pokemon logic and have that actually be a good thing. Apparently not. Let's try jumping. Probably not going to work, because he has a spike on his head. Uh, by the way, do not try to make sense of this guy's anatomy too much. It really doesn't make any sense at all. At all. But, yeah, I don't know, it's just... He's got, like, this weird propeller thing coming out of his... neck... spine thing? I don't know. Okay, well... I hate to use an elixir this early on, but we're already damaged. I could use the Muku cookie. You know what? I'm using the Muku cookie. Must see what it does. It emerges from the canyon. And then... Does that. Sixty-nine. How appropriate? I don't know. What the hell was that? I have no idea. It was almost as long of an animation as the, um... What's your call it? The star egg. We'll be seeing the star egg eventually. Yeah, sure, okay, you do a good amount of damage. And boosting self here, so I can take less damage from that stupid water blast attack. I don't want to go through my entire stock of items in this fight, so I'm going to try to be frugal about it. I mean, there's no real reason to be frugal. Can you use a move that isn't water blast? Would it really kill you? Because it will kill me, so I'd like to avoid that. Alright, well... Uh, let's see how the Geno Beam does. This weird elementless attack that it is. Unless it is ice, I don't think anyone's ever verified that. Okay, that sucked, not doing that again. Eh, okay, it's adequate. Kind of just don't have too much to say about these fights after a while. Okay, here's the Mirage attack. I believe the trick for this is just to attack the one that it goes to by default. Let's see. That looks about right. I'm going to go back and attack the other one now. Uh, it didn't do that much more. The fake one has a lot lower defense, so that's usually how you can tell. I don't know, I guess it's all in the timing. And I think the game is lagging for some reason. I don't know why, it really shouldn't be. There's two animated sprites on the screen and nothing else that would really be any sort of a... like, taxing for the system to handle. Okay, I wonder which is the fake one. So yeah, just attack the one that it goes to by default. 
My goodness, it's like not recognizing my button inputs half the time. This is really dumb. Anyway, uh, you can attack the Mirage. Is this doing any damage? No. Eh, I'll, I'll take it anyway. I don't want to rewind that much. Okay, Mario's down. That's not a good thing. Uh, if you do attack the Mirage, then it will go away earlier and you won't have to worry about it attacking you, but at the same time, it, it'll, it'll go away on its own anyway, so it's best to just try to get the fight over with as quickly as possible and just attack the real one. And I screwed up the timing on that one, but it still did a decent amount of damage. Okay, was there any logical reason for that attack to do two damage? I mean, what the shit? I, I, I don't know. You know, I, I'm tempted to use a rock candy here. I'll get more. Whatever. Using a rock candy. Just so I can say that I have. Rock candies normally do 200 damage, but there it did 300 because of the effects of the Geno Boost. Because that affects items too for some odd reason, but I'm not complaining. Mario, are we going to have to, like, go in the corner and have a chat? Because your attack should not be doing 2 damage to bosses. What did you... Re when I wasn't looking, did you just replace the ma the masher with some sort of, like, inflatable plastic hammer that you would win at Chuck E. Cheese? Why would you do that, if so? I don't get it. Okay. Like how, once again, the item has... Ah, my god. Well, Mario got hit by a meteor. Didn't do too much damage. Okay, thank you. It wasn't the 150 that it did earlier in the fight, but I will take that. Uh, how much more do you have to... I don't know. I don't, I'm sick of boss battles. Oh, okay. Okay, Mario, this is your last chance to redeem yourself here. If you can do 88 damage with the masher, then I will shut up about it. Okay, I'll, I will give you props for hanging on with one HP, though. That's pretty awesome. Oh, Mario. What happened to you? Now I'm going to have to make Mallow finish off the fight for you. Isn't that embarrassing? See? Now that's the kind of damage I wanted to see out of you. Oh, well. I guess maybe the masher really is just that unstable. And level up? Yay, level up. And Geno Whirl. I don't use it that often, but it is a pretty cool attack because it has kind of a gimmick. Only Geno? Oh well. And then the music gets funky. I thought he already was. Okay. And they left behind the key for reasons unknown. Yeah, no thanks to you. A huge axe flying across the sky. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. If only Jonathan Jones came back later in the game, that would be cool, but alas, that does not happen. So, let's just let the people out. Including a mole. There's a mole here for some reason. That was a hippie. It was funny because it was a hippie. Okay. Yeah, now that all the people are back, I can check out all the shops again. There's a couple interesting specialty shops here. And flower box. Nice. Didn't I say there was only one of those in the game? I guess I lied. Flower box is always good. Need to stock up on freshen ups and pick me ups. Other than that, I think I'm good. But, yeah, let's check out the specialty shops.
This, okay, Beatles are us is kind of odd, but yeah. It's I'm I'm tempted to do it. Okay, so yeah, you get the you get the beetle box, you catch the beetles there, and then yeah, there's different if you I don't I think it's just random if you get a male or a female, I think they have the same sprites, I don't remember. And then the golden beetles give you a frog coin. I might as well do this. Why? What's with the initiation fee? Whatever, I've got plenty of coins. Wait. What? Oh, jumping. I forgot that that was your ID in this game, because you don't have a Pokedex to you, so... I don't know. Uh... What do I have now? Womp Glove. I think these are better. Ribbit stick, double punch. And then I want to say the Troopa shell is the same power as the masher, but the masher's been failing me lately, so I'm going to switch. So let's see. Yeah, it stays the same, but I think it's more consistent. So, I can sell some of this stuff, too. I don't know why I'm holding onto this chomp, I just am. And then, is there any new, uh, armor? I don't remember. Sailor stuff? No, I have that. Okay. Then over here, we've got generic item store. I think. Yeah. Need some of these, though. I know there's some interesting stuff somewhere. Oh, yeah, Mushroom Boy. Uh... I'm just going to give him my regular mushroom, even though I'm almost positive it's not going to do anything. So, yeah, he just, uh, okay, yeah. If you have any mushrooms in your inventory, he'll eat them. Uh, if you pick up the ones from the forest maze, those have a chance of having a special side effect. There's, like, some he'll give you a maple syrup, some I think he might give you a flower tab, I don't really remember. I don't bother with that too much. Uh, I don't need any of this. Alright, so, now that all this is dealt with, um, I... What? Oh, right, I have to see the Elder again. Uh, I'll save that for next time. If you talk to the Elder, it opens up the next area, but first I want to try, uh, Booster Hill, just for change of pace. Because it was so fun the first time. Except, actually, I do like this, so I shouldn't make fun of it. And I immediately fail. So, what do I talk about now? I have no idea. Okay, I guess there is a sprite difference, because these, these are probably the males, these bigger ones. I don't know, I think in the insect world, a lot of times the females are the bigger ones. Unless I'm just thinking of fish. I don't know. I am not the master of sexual dimorphism. All I know is that in Pokemon they kind of gave up on that idea. And I know this is not the place to talk about this at all, but now that I'm thinking about it, whatever happened to the spiky-eared Pichu? Like, in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, there was this event to get one, and it was supposed to be all cool and special and amazing, and oh my god, you can't trade it to any other games because it's from the future, and it... So, I was thinking, this means, oh, the next games are gonna have, like, different sprites for Pokemon, like, you can find Spiky-Eared Pichu, maybe you can find... Oh, there's a gold one, gold one, gold one, gold one, I want the gold one. Oh, god damn it. I don't know, I can't think of any examples. Just, like, not shinies, but just different patterns or funky body parts. And then that never happened. And the shiny-eared peach... or shiny-eared... yeah, spiky-eared peach is completely pointless. And then they gave up on the gender differences, too, except for a couple cases, so... I don't know. Pointless, but what else am I going to talk about? I'm freaking running up a hill. And failing at doing so, I should add. 
Let's see, did I at least break even? I doubt that I even came close. Uh, okay. Oh, ah, okay. Four mil. That means that I did. I think I got a slight profit out of that. Let's see. Ah, 230 coins? Was it? Oh, 203. Okay. Yeah, it's a decent source of money, not that you need it, but yeah, bye.